G'day guys, welcome back to Cookies Fish Room. Norm here, for those who don't know me, thank you again for joining me. Now, today is a topic that I have covered before in the past, and I think it's time just to go over it one more time, and it deserves a video of its own. So, previously, in a, the three myths about fish keeping that I um, discussed in one of the earlier videos, I discussed salt in freshwater aquariums. Now, for those who did watch this video, they would understand that it's absolutely imperative to have it in your tank. It is vital. Now, I have seen recently lots of discussions in other different groups on Facebook and other social media platforms that it should not be in freshwater tanks. It's something that plants are sensitive to and certain breeds of fish, species of fish, and, and I think invertebrates as well. It should not be um, exposed to it. Now, I have never heard anything so far from the truth in my life. So let's start with fish and why we should have it in the aquarium to start off with. Now, whether it be a catfish, a coolie loach, or a guppy, even cichlids, the whole point of having salt in the aquarium, and I have to stress this is not Epsom salt. This is aquarium salt, two total different things. You have to put aquarium salt in the tank for their health. So, two things. One, it has what they they need. The, it does carry some sort of um, mineral in it or, or vitamins that will benefit the fish's health, number one. Number two, it strengthens their slime coat. That is mega important, especially if these fish have ever been handled by hand or have ever had diseases like velvet or ick, uh, epistylus. This not only will repair the slime coat, but it will also strengthen it and help them avoid from getting this disease ever again. So I urge you, if you have not yet, to add aquarium salt by the recommended amount on the packaging to your fish tank. It is really, really good for your tank. Now, it will not harm plants. Behind me, you can see a planted tank. Now this tank gets aquarium salt every water change, which is twice a week. Weekends, 40% change. Weekdays, 20% change. Well, that's midweek, I should say. And the weekend, gets, it gets one 40% change. Now each time I change the water, I don't add the same amount of aquarium salt. I only add the amount that equates to the water that's going into it. So if I, if the whole aquarium needs one tablespoon and is however amounts of liters, I'm not gonna put that same tablespoon into the, in the aquarium one more time with a 40% or 20% water change. I use the pro rata, the ratio of it. So I will put only enough to say if I'm replacing 20 liters of water, I will only put in enough salt for that 20 liters. So you don't want to put too much salt. Salt will not harm your plants. It will not harm snails at all if put, you've put in the recommended amount. It is good for all animals in the tank. Now, whoever says it harms snails, I'm sorry, mate. No, nah, it doesn't. We've proven it time and time before. We have hundreds of instances, if not thousands, where we've tested this and the snails are absolutely fine. In what we usually do is um, we actually use the salt and snails and even some invertebrates to kill columnaris, the, you know, the chances of them bringing it into the aquarium. So we actually add it into a quarantine tank when we get new snails and make sure that they don't carry that with them, that bacteria into the new tank. And it does work great. Um, we swabbed beforehand and we swabbed afterwards. The columnaris is gone but the snails are still healthy as they were before, same as shrimps. All you have to do is stay within that recommended range. Now, I personally, I use half the recommended uh, range because it gives me a little bit up my sleeves to play with when we have diseases to deal with and you want to use extra salt as in columnaris. So it's always good to have that little bit extra up your sleeve and ick as well. If you, um, you're fine to use the whole recommended amount and you shouldn't kill anything but like with any other thing or any other medication or any other thing you find in your pantry that you add to your cooking you don't overdo it any other medication you don't overdose 
when you if you do overdose with salt you can expect negative results it will kill fish it will kill some fish it will kill some snails it will kill some plants don't do more than what's recommended on the packaging that we can't be held accountable for but i am telling you it will not harm anything if you put in the recommended amount it won't harm your plants invertebrates snails fish I can't stress that enough, how important it is to have in your tank, how good it is for them. And this does include beaters slash fighter fish. Get it in your tanks. You'll have healthier, happier fish for it. And some of these minerals do actually help your plants as well, believe it or not. It doesn't have the adverse effects. I hope this has been helpful. And I hope I don't have to discuss it again, but I'm sure I will. And I will just post a link to this video instead. Take care of yourselves. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet please do so if you like this uh video give us a thumbs up if you want to hit the notification bell you will know when we are coming out with another video thanks for joining us once again all the way from australia cookies fish room norm signing out take care of yourselves bye for now